Hello everyone, and welcome back to Survival Island Plus, Episode 5. I did a decent amount of in-between episodes. You see, I upgraded these two furnaces to iron furnaces. I uh, upgraded this chest to a, a gold chest. And I made this chest over here to store monster drops and uh, farming objects. I also did a Quite a bit of mining, as you can see. I picked up some more diamonds, redstone, lots of this other stuff. Smelted it all up. I'll be able to make something sweet in the, in the future. In fact, something this episode, it's just uh, for now. I'm going to grab this obsidian, because I'm going to need it. I'm also going to need a flint and steel. Now, before I actually make that portal, I want to... Uh, I want to make a small area for it, and I'm just going to have uh, another small dock behind here, where the portal goes. I'm just going to extend this out a bit, make it look nice. Alright, so I built this nice little area for it, and this is where the portal's going to go. I'm just going to build it around like this, and uh, since I'm doing it decoratively, and I did get quite a bit of obsidian. I, I don't mind going ahead and not making the sides something else. A lot of times I do, but uh, there's no real need to cheap out on this one. Some lights up here. It's gonna look sweet. And activate. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's nice. I like that. I like that. I'm almost ready, but I'm just going to make myself one thing first. Now, what I'm making is something to hold all of my tools. Something that, if I should lose it, it is not the end of the world. Because if I craft another one of the same color, it will actually house the same contents. Voila! A blue alchemy bag. Now, this guy I am going to store all of my tools inside, okay? Now, I'm taking this extra precaution because I'm going to go into the nether here, and I may die. If I do, anything that's in this alchemy bag is not lost as long as I recraft the bag. I'm going to craft one more thing before I head off to the nether. An iron shield. And just for aesthetics, let's make it blue. Don't want to be taking that weak wooden shield into the nether. And what do we do with useless items? That's right. Throw them into the sea! Without further ado, let's head to the nether. Okay... Lava lake underneath. Sure. Always. But a portal is a portal and I need to protect it. So let's get this stuff around it, alright? So you're gonna fill this area in to prevent ghasts from disabling the portal. And of course hitting me hitting me right when I just spawn. Because who likes to spawn in and just be hit by stuff? It's no fun. Alright, so it's covered up. This portal's not gonna get shot. Put down a little crafting table. I mean you never really know, you know, crafting tables. Taking note of the coordinates in case I get lost. Wow. X6 Z14. If I just go to zero, zero, I'll see it. Those are interesting coordinates. Hello, Gast. Hi, Gast. Can you see me? Come here. You're Gast. I can see you. <laughs> anyway, uh. Hey, look at this. Something up here. So, what do we have here? I need to find some glowstone. Oh, this is a nice little area here. Nothing. Oh, that's lame. Let me see if I can branch out here. Now this netherrack... Oh, look at that. Didn't go very far. This netherrack breaks very easily with a pick. So it uses up your durability really quickly. You have to watch it. I really like spawning on more open areas. Uh, because once you get the shelter up and the gas can't shoot through it, uh, there are it's 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 clearer where you should go to find glowstone, but here it's kind of uh I don't really know exactly where I should go, you know. Magma slime. Oh, 
here's big magma slime. These guys are really bad. They can do some serious damage to you, too. They also have a very low chance to drop magma cream. But really, the best way to get magma cream is to combine a slime ball and blaze powder. Did get one, though. So far, the only glowstone is up on the... up in a dangerous place. Need to find some in a more accessible location. Where are these ghasts I'm hearing? Around here somewhere, I just don't know where. Glowstone! There actually is no tool that uh, makes this faster in vanilla, so uh, don't waste... don't waste your durability on it. Now the mining drill for industrial craft, now that will speed it up, but uh, the only thing I know of. Other than, say, the destruction catalyst. That's not bad, two and a half stacks. Tons of mushrooms in here. Gast. Careful not to hit zombie pigmen with the uh, backlash wave or whatever that thing's called. <laughs> Seriously, if this uh, little explosion that you hit back at them happens to hit a zombie pigman, they'll come at you. Honey, I'm home, and I brought glowstone. Oh wait, I'm alone on this island. Well, whatever. But thank goodness I have glowstone now, which means I can make myself a philosopher's stone. Yes, philosopher's stone! This thing's great. First of all, portable crafting table. Can't argue with that. Oh, you cannot. Second, you can use it to transmute a few blocks into other blocks. Dirt to sand, or ship click and cobblestone. Cobblestone to stone. It's pretty sweet. Aha! Full cobble gen, right? I've been waiting for this for a while now. Okay, because I need, uh... I need some sand. So I'll just place down all that cobble. Bring out Mr. Philosopher Stone. Charge him up. And turn him into grass. That into sand, right? Oh, ho, ho. look at all that, man. Look at all that sand. It's great because I need sand. So I'm just gonna grab all this. Clean up the area. Ah, what a beautiful island now. And I have a lot of sand. And now through the magic of equivalent exchange, I can extend my coal. And I can make many more torches. Smelt many more things by using it for charcoal. What are you doing back here? This is daytime and you're on the dock. That's right. Don't do that, bad enderman. Dare you exist. Now that I have a Philosopher's Stone, I can finally make myself a transmutation tablet. Yes, yes, yes! Pop this guy down on some obsidian. Cool looking there. Now, I learn diamonds and I learn ender pearls. Alright? I'm going to transmute my tungsten into diamonds. A few of these guys get some ender pearls. Can use those later. Alright, I want to do two more things this episode. One requires that I have some silicon bools, which you get from uh, coal and sand. I'll come get these later. The other thing I want requires bronze in the form of two sturdy machines. I need a turbury and a peat bog. Yay! I also need some empty cells. I need to go fill with water. If I just hold the right mouse button down, it'll uh, keep doing it for me. Now I get to combine all of these, this sand and this dirt, and the water cells to make bog earth. Okay? Eight nice stacks of bog earth, right? Now I'm gonna need a piston. And two gears from Buildcraft. Nice wooden gears. I need to upgrade these to stone gears. If I put them beside a piston, glass in the middle, and cobble on the top, 
I get a steam engine, which can run on charcoal. I'm just going to get one lever to run it. Time to choose a location for this contraption. I choose here. Hmm, that's a good location. Throw some bog earth in there. Steam engine. Some charcoal in there. Flip it on and it, uh, it'll start clearing an area it needs. I always like to put it one under, that way it clears an area instead of uh, just plopping stuff down. That way at least we don't get water spilling everywhere. Alright, so this thing is on its way. It's already cleared everything out. Now it's starting to place the bog earth. Right? So just gather up all the dirt. Now once this thing pl places all the dirt, I'm going to replace this engine. Because frankly, I don't want to just throw a bunch of charcoal at this. That's why I made peat-fired engines. Now I made these off-camera, but the recipe is uh, copper ingots, glass, piston, and copper gears, which are just stone gears with copper around them. It's rude to push. Ow. It's rude to push. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I could be inside a block, it doesn't matter. So you are done, my friend. Because actually, that engine doesn't uh, make this stuff change. This bog earth just slowly becomes peat when it has water around it. But it does replace the peat when it gets taken. And uh, to start, it takes two stacks of bog earth. So we're going to put two more stacks in there. Now, something I'm going to do for this is uh, I'm going to need some way to harvest this peat that comes out of here. And for that, I made the turbary. I'm just going to place this next to it. And there's actually no interface on the turbary. What you do is you throw an engine on it, and it will shoot out p uh, peat to either adjacent buildcraft pipes or, for now, a chest. And for now, I'm just going to store the excess bog earth in this gold chest I made. Now, in the meantime, it looks like these silicon bools are done. But to be able to get them, to get, use them, I need to craft a diamond handsaw with which to cut the bools into wafers. Now, what do I do with these silicon wafers? Well, I can cook them in an alloy furnace. One silicon wafer and four redstone will yield one red doped wafer. And these guys are used for a wide variety of red power recipes. So now that those are done, I'm going to cook up a different kind of wafer. One wafer and four nicolite will get you a blue doped wafer. And these guys are used for some of the power generation. I'll need these to make solar panels, which I will want shortly. I just like to fill this, uh, this area in so that I don't fall in. Once it's going, it's actually okay to do that. As long as you don't pick up and remove the peat bog at some point. So as you can see here, there are a few dark pieces on this peat bog here. All right, now I'm going to flip this on so the turbary starts collecting this peat. And we see here that it is collecting it because it's turning the peat into dirt. It replaces it with dirt. I'm going to take this engine, because now I'll be replacing them with peat-fired engines. And I'm going to take that peat that it made put them in the engines. For now, I'll just have to keep an eye on these guys. But, luckily for me, peat engines won't overheat and over overheat and explode. And, peat engines are actually designed to run all of the time. So it actually takes them a while to go through the peat. Alright, so these blue doped wafers are done. I'm gonna start cooking up some blue alloy ingots. Alright, so those are done. I'm just gonna go ahead and craft these into solar panels, eight of them. Making eight BT batteries, two battery boxes, and some blue alloy wire. I'm just gonna stick these up here, and these are all touching, and in red power, if a machine is touching, power can pass through it. So, all eight of these solar panels are filling their energy into these two battery boxes. For now, this will do, but I'm going to expand this when I can. Now, it's probably pretty obvious, but these solar panels do need direct sunlight to, uh, to function. 
Anyway, that's why they're on the roof. Now the only tricky part is where do I take this where do I put this cable down here? Although at the moment I don't have any machines that need this. So I'm down here uh getting some clay for the machines I need, just uh, making use of the torch air mechanic to keep myself alive down here because most of the clay uh that was up on on the surface Near the top, I actually exhausted, so I have to come down here for more clay. Honestly, the water's not so scary once you realize you can just throw a torch any somewhere, anywhere, really, just to save yourself. It's just kind of ridiculous. Boy, that'd be funny in real life, huh? Somebody pays all that money for some scuba gear, and then they see somebody else just swimming on un swimming underwater, deep. They don't have any gear. What? They just throw a torch down, and uh, suddenly they can breathe. That would be weird. So I just have to smelt some of these up. And I need some actual clay. Just blocks of clay. To make myself two blue electric furnaces, alright? And then bricks for the blue electric alloy furnace. Now I'm going to need a good amount of stone brick covers. So I want to get these blue alloy wires running to these machines, but I'm going to have to do it through the walls here. Now, unfortunately, I can't do it on the end here because, you see, those uh, will not, those panels will not connect to anything but actual blocks, okay? These red power micro blocks never have connected to glass panes, so I'm going to have to do it somewhere else. That means pretty much my only option is actually this wood here, so I'm going to need some wood covers. Now I've connected it to this, which will be able to draw power from the battery boxes as it's connected to them, right? And these are touching each other, so they should be filling up with energy. Of course, it helps if it actually is connected in such a way that it's touching the machine, all right? Energy, energy, perfect. They're all getting energy now, just to close this thing up as best I can. Look, Ma, no wires. Well, for that one. And you can combine these covers back into their original blocks, too, if you have enough of them. So, waste not, want not, right? Although I will be needing covers in the future. I'll uh, hold on to those. You can see I'm already smelting things up with this. It's great. Now I don't have to worry about uh, coal and charcoal and getting the precise amount or wasting it when I feel it's necessary. So if I ran these constantly, they'd run out of juice, but I'll get some more objects up there. I want to fill that up so it's nice and symmetric, actually. Probably do that between episodes. Well, I ended up putting a stone slab strip right here. That's... It's not bad, and it's still connecting, so that's that's one thing you can do. You can tell it's off a little, but it, it is still it's better than... I mean, that's about as well as I can do with my design. But hey, I mean, the trade-off, right? Look at this. I've got free furnaces now. It's great. I'm in Survival Island, and I have free furnaces. That's ridiculous. We're like Extravagance Island. I suppose I have to rename the series now. Well, it's been a nice, long episode. I mean, we went to the nether, we set up furnaces, peat bog. It's a lot for one episode. It really is. So, in next episode, I'm actually going to do more with this peat bog. I'm going to try and make it self-sufficient. I've got a way to do that. So, look forward to it. Stay tuned. That's right. Don't do that. Bad Enderman, how dare you exist?